Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Okay, and, it, and today I am planning to show you that how this uh, uh, crank shaft works. And now there is a situation that that this motor is in upside down, and this part in here is is crank shaft. And and when I I have take those crankshaft bearings, this uh, lower part away, and there is this crankshaft. Those uh, actually there is one one of those bearings in the left, and it's in here. And here is also one, and there is one. One is missing, and and. And these are in here, and maybe they are they are too thick. Okay. But then, how this crankshaft works? Normally, in in those holes in there, there are pistons. And quite soon, I will rotate this this motor in up uh, uh, in this right position. But in in normally, when I rotate this crank crankshaft in this way. This works, and and now when this is moving, now it this moves quite easily because there is now this bearing bolts in here, and this is easy to rotate. But in when when this crankshaft moves in, in this this way, those pistons are also moving, and then this crankshaft. The, there is two, actually three things why we need this crankshaft. First is that this crankshaft moves this piston power to this uh, this clutch and transmission. In here are those clutch components, and in here, in that area, there is this timing chain or belt, and then then this. Uh, cr Crankshaft also moves this this uh, timing chain and belt, and then this force goes to camshafts. Okay, and then then I then I rotate this block so that, that we can look those pistons. Okay, and I need to. Rotate that in, in this this amount and and there there is those pistons and then I need to rotate this in that position that we can need see those pistons. Okay, and, and these pistons when they move this force goes to this crankshaft and between of this piston there is connection rod. Okay. Okay and this was this crankshaft information I rotate this back. There is, there is now, by the way, one, one this crankshaft bearing plate. It, it, it come from in this, this area, and and then there is also those plates what are in here. What what makes this this crankshaft? They are like bearings. What what resist this this kind of movement? Okay. And and then when we take those bearings out, it's it's good to make some symbol in here that we know that that these bearings belongs in that place. And next I saw one good paint 
what I have used and I show that to you. Okay, and I have this kind of uh, uh, paint and pencil and this is uh, marks, frights and paints of any surface, solid marker and this is made in Japan and this is best best paint that I have ever used because next you will see that when I do in here one small marking in, in here I do in here small marking and here there's like one and one and in that next position I take a little bit this paper and then this marking strokes even better and in here I I do two two lines in here and in here two two lines okay now there's two lines and in, in here I mark one one line and also in here one line Okay, and, and this, this, these markings last. Okay, there is two, and there is two. Okay, now I remember that these bearings belong in here. This is mandatory. We, we can't mix those bearing plates. Okay, and this was that information how this crankshaft works. And thank you for watching.